Welcome to the word portion of problem 3.10 or 310 on page 123. In this particular case, we're comparing various mobile providers and we have the download speeds and the upload speeds for the eight. I will show you how to create the Excel document in a separate video. I've already actually done this in 3.1, but we haven't done it for two, for two data sets. So as you, you can see, the means are provided uh, and we're gonna analyze this. It's not just important to calculate numbers, it's under, to understand what the numbers mean. Are they good, are they bad? How did they describe the data? That's why it's called descriptive statistics. And so, we have uh, the, the tables up above. So really what's important is that it's done for you. You can plug in the numbers and I would suggest you listen to video 3.1 to read the report a little bit more, but we're going to analyze it. So as you can see in part C, the uh, is the data skewed? Well, the skewness is the place that I would go to. And you can see if it's zero, it's not skewed. If it's positive, it's right skewed. If it's negative, it's left skewed. So you can see that, that indeed the data is left skewed. And you can see that in both cases, the mean is below the median, which would also indicate it's left skewed. So if you don't have the skewness, then you can simply look at the mean and the median. Now, kurtosis has to do with how peaked the data is. The larger the number, the, the more peaked it is. So the, if a number is zero, it means it's a perfect bell curve. And if it's less than zero, as you can see with the upload speed, that means it is flatter, all right? And they call it less peaked. The really uh, technical term is, or proper description is platycurtic. And where it's more peaked, then it is leptocuritic. And you can read that in the uh, lectures if you care to listen to the lectures. In part D, you can see that the download speed is much higher than the upload speed. These are measured in megabits per second. So, and you can also see that with the median, for the download speed, have a speed of at least 3265. So that means that at 32.65, half the download speeds are below that number and half are above. With the upload speeds, that number is 12.95, which is a much lower number, which would indicate much slower. So that's the analysis uh, of that part. When it comes to standard deviation, the smaller the standard deviation, the less variability there is, which is what you would expect when you have smaller numbers. And the larger the standard deviation, the number, the wider the distribution. And as a friendly little reminder, the variance is simply the standard deviation squared.